Hello, I'm Senator Eric Omeg. I represent the 45th Legislative District, and I look forward to providing you these weekly updates as we fly through this short 60-day session. This week, we're really focusing on a $2.6 billion budget deficit that has affected us all in some shape or form. It's a tough time for Washington families, and we're all gonna be working hard to try and deliver the best possible outcomes under these extreme, unprecedented circumstances. Every two years, we have a short session this is designed for lawmakers to really make what are foreseen as minor changes to the operating and capital budget. That's not quite the case this year. When we create our budget, we use a complex formula and we estimate tax revenues based on economic activity. However, the economy has continued to fall beyond our expectations. We're now faced with yet another deficit. As always, we'll find a way to balance the budget. Now, many of you have heard Governor Gregoire proposed a first budget, a legally required budget, that is an all-cuts budget within existing resources. And it devastates services to the most vulnerable, our neighbors, our seniors, and school kids. This brings proposed cuts especially close to an issue that I work on, which is K-12. I spent much of last summer traveling the state listening to teachers, principals, school administrators, all throughout the state to get a first-hand look at the classroom from students and teachers. This is just one of the many areas being deeply affected by the current economic situation. It's important to understand when you hear in the media why certain programs like basic health or the lifeline are targeted to be cut over other state-funded programs. You see, much of the budget can't be cut. It's either constitutionally protected or legally protected. For example, much of our K-12 funding, but not all of it, is protected by the state constitution. As well, uh, debt service is legally protected. We have a $2.6 billion problem. We could cut all the tiny wedges. We still haven't balanced the budget, which is why we increasingly have to turn to those big pie slices, K-12 and Health and Human Services. It's a $2.6 billion problem. One of the things that we saw that has really led to making things worse is this summer we had lawsuits about cuts we made last year. Lawsuits that the courts have ruled were illegal. So make no mistake, when we say that some cuts can't be made, they really can't be. Um, some other cuts shouldn't be when we're talking about prison population or fire and police service. This means that other programs like education, like universities and human services, are left to absorb all of the cuts. So the question is, where do we go from here? Now, after releasing her first budget, Governor Gregoire has released a second budget that offers some alternatives, and it's going to still take some work. She's reaching out, trying to protect things like our basic health plan and our lifeline. So please, contact my office with your ideas and thoughts. I look forward to providing you more updates as we go forward. Thank you.